Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts. I want to uh, show you the differences in the 1940 replacement carburetor and our new uh, carburetor in 1904. Um, I just want to show you how you would, what you need to do to, in order to use this carburetor in place of this one. And right off the bat, um, this one has this bracket that, uh, so the air cleaner can screw onto it. Uh, well, this one doesn't. However, we do have an adapter that available that you can put on here, and it and it it has this on it, and so you can put your get your air cleaner on. And you can see they're about the same height. Uh, even with that adapter on it, it'll be about the same height, so that's not a problem. Uh, the fuel line a little bit different. This one, the fuel line comes out the side, and on the 1940, it's coming out the front. So you're going to have to rewrite your fuel line uh, to go around here to the side which typically is not a problem. The uh, uh, manual choke is hooked up right here and so is the 1940. Uh, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. It, it'll feed in through here and in, in there and, and this on 1940 feeds through here and then into there. Um, the throttle right here is your throttle uh, with the little uh, uh, ball on it and this uh, carburetor comes with the same thing and this uh, <clears throat> throttle is adjustable 360 degrees you can just turn it wherever you want so that's that's the easy part uh, it will bolt right on now you see a whole lot of <coughs> vacuum passages on this 1940 um, and this uh, in 1904 does not have that uh, use the gasket we supply with it and um, that, that's all you need to do. All of this is not necessary. Uh, this carburetor feeds from the inside. Now as far as uh, adaptability to your engine, this has an adjustable jet right here with uh, really good instructions that are included uh, on how to adjust it to your engine. And so I think it's a very good replacement. We have sold a lot of these and um, we uh, have very few complaints about it. Oh, the, uh, the one thing I want to uh, mention, this is your vacuum advance that goes out right here. There's actually a, a fitting that comes with it that make, turns it into a barb fitting. So put your hose on. And let's see where it was in 1940. It's out the side. So it's out the same side. So that's not going to be a problem for you either. In fact, I think that if you happen to have the uh, metal... Um, inverted flare type thing uh, that just screws into here it'll probably just screw in here straight away so there you go pretty easy install on this 1940 thank you for watching